Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today is September 29th, and Samsung just pushed off its latest software update to the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Now we've been stating on this channel and also on Twitter for quite a while that it seems like Samsung has forgotten these two massive flagship phones that they've been trying to push out to the public, but yet they are lacking these updates. So today they finally pushed it out. It's giving you that security patch of September 1st. As of right now, we're running on the July first patch quite a few months behind also september is already almost finished so hopefully maybe we'll get another update in about two or three weeks sometime in october and the size should be a little bit smaller every single time that there's usually a security patch update pushed out every single month the sizes are usually right around 230 megabytes now both of these ones here are right around 700 megabytes so that leads me to believe that there's been a lot of updates that's been happening to a lot of services and applications hopefully there's an update for the fingerprint reader especially for the z flip 3 i noticed if you turned off the always on fingerprint scanner on the right hand side over here it actually saved the battery quite a bit so i feel like there should have been an update with inside of the biometrics so we'll be taking a look at a bunch of these things here so we'll be taking a look at the samsung galaxy home samsung messages the fingerprint reader face recognition the camera the gallery samsung pay and samsung health just to name a few that we'll be taking a look at today uh, but if you don't really know where to find this update all you have to do on any of these devices is just go inside of your settings you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says a software update then you go to download and install so inside of here this is where you're able to find it and let me just show you that both of these right now are running on ju the july 1st patch so inside of the software information, you can see that both of these are the July 1st patch uh, running Android 11, Samsung One UI 3.1.1. Uh, and so once this one finishes, we will be going through all of these different uh, applications and services just to see exactly what did come through because this one is, again, uh, about two or three times the size that it normally is. So I know for sure we're going to find some newer versions. So it's usually at this point in the video where I like to state that if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy as Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung updates. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. And please write down a question, a comment, give it a big thumbs up. It'll help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. As we all know, this is the only channel that actually goes through every single software update to find exactly what is new when Samsung does not list it. So the update is done and complete. And so now we will be heading inside of different applications and services just to see exactly what has been changed, what's been updated, newer versions. And again, I'm super excited. Hopefully there's gonna be a newer version or updated version of the fingerprint reader. So both of these right here are sitting at 12500119. And originally they both were 12500103. So both of these have been updated to a newer version. And so that could be maybe with, you know, the dynamic lock screen, things like that, and a few other things you can do with the home screen. Then we're going to go inside of Samsung Messages. Now, I'm not a huge Samsung Messages type of a guy. I actually, I use Google Messages just because it's a little bit more and, and for me, a little bit more private because it doesn't show phone numbers, things like that. Now, originally for the Galaxy Z Fold 3, it was 12200121, and that's the same for the Flip 3. So they were both at the 12200121, and it looks like here we are at 121077. 12 to 10 78. So both of these have been updated with a newer version of Samsung messages. Now we're going to go inside of the one that I'm actually super interested in, which will be inside of the biometrics and security, because we're going to take a look over at the fingerprint reader and face recognition. So inside of here, you just go to biometric security patch. Now, when it came down to the Fold 3 and the Flip 3 originally for the fingerprint and face recognition, they were the same before, which was uh, for the fingerprint was 5102. Uh, and right here it says 5102 for both of them. So I'm pretty sad that it, there's no newer version there because honestly, that was a battery drainer. So hopefully they'll be able to do that maybe in this next update. And hopefully they're watching these videos so they can really learn, you know, uh, some things to improve. Then for the face recognition, uh, it was 20226. This one is 20228 on both of them. So there is a newer version or updated version of face recognition. Again, Hopefully Samsung will push off a security patch update to make 
uh, less battery drain for the always on fingerprint reader. Now we're gonna take a look over inside of the camera just to see if there was a newer version for the camera. Now for both of them before they were 110171. These ones both here are 110200. So both of them did come with a little bit of an upgrade or, or a security patch for the camera. Now we're gonna take a look over inside of the gallery. So for the gallery beforehand, uh, for both of them again was 121080. This one is 121081. So both of them did get a small little security patch update for uh, the gallery. Now we're going to take a look over at Samsung Pay. I was just basically taking a look at the Samsung folder just to see what was kind of important to take a look at. So inside of here, we're going to take a look at Samsung Pay. And there was no changes with Samsung Pay because both of them sitting here and also before the update was at 4055. So no newer version, I guess, needed for Samsung Pay. Now we're going to take a look over in side of Samsung Health. Now Samsung Health for both of these ones here, uh, they were a little different from beforehand. So the Z Fold 3 was 6188005, 6188005. So this one was the same, so no newer version of uh, Samsung Pay. And then when it comes down over into the Z Flip 3, this one was 6198043. And same thing here, 6198043. 043. So uh, it looks as if most of everything updated from before, which was the home, messages, the face recognition, your camera, gallery, uh, and I'm sure there's quite a few other things as well. So now we took a look at pretty much everything I had written down. It is also very smart to take a look over at the Galaxy Store, just because there, there could be quite a few updates being pushed out inside of here. So a lot of times when you see some updates being pushed out inside the Galaxy Store, it also means that possibly, you know, especially uh, if it was the beginning of the month, usually there would be a software update. So it looks like there is a newer version of Samsung Health sitting right here. So Samsung Health was something I was taking a look at before. Uh, and here is that update. Again, it was not pushed through with the regular software uh, update or security update, but here it is pushing it through here. Now I noticed that one of my phones was pushing through a bunch of different updates earlier. I think it was actually the Fold 3. So there's maybe a few things that was updated today that wasn't listed here because it already went through automatically. So that is it for pretty much for today's video, letting you know that both of these phones, the flips and the folds, finally got that September 1st security patch, even though it's almost October. And hopefully with this October patch, I'm hoping to see an upgraded fingerprint reader, scanner, security update, whatever, just because it is a big battery drainer when it comes down to the always on for the Flip 3. But if you guys found this video to be a little helpful, maybe even a little entertaining, maybe just something to kind of listen to when you're sitting back watching TV, make sure you guys give this thing a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.